All right, what's going on, Giants fans? Wanted to do a little reaction to the win yesterday. A win is a win. Um, it feels good. I know that it's against Washington, but you know what? And we'll start at the top. Washington has a pretty good defense. You know, like they have the number one passing D in the NFL. Um, and if you don't like using raw stats, if you're an analytics guy and you use EPA, I mean, they had the eighth best passing defense in the NFL. So their defense was no slouch. And, you know, their D line is full of, you know, Allen, Chase Young, um, uh, Montez Sweat, care like they have good players, and I, I I was impressed with this game. Now, does this game change the narrative on on anybody? No, not really. But it was a good game, and we'll, we'll start with the quarterback. Um, he went twenty three of thirty four yesterday, uh, a little over two hundred yards, and then the one touchdown. The biggest thing was no turnovers. I thought this was a good step after a low moment versus Tampa. Tampa, where he missed throws, where he had two senseless interceptions, where he was late on the two point conversion. This was a good step. If This isn't a game where it's like, oh, see, proving the doubters wrong. No, was that the, this game? Absolutely not. But it was a good step. There's seven more games to the season. Continue, progress. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens at the end of the season. But nonetheless, I thought it was a good step. I mean, in the first half is where the offense put up points. And the second half, he had one incompletion. He was 11 for 12. Um, and the one incompletion was a big drop by Ingram. Um, and I think they sh- like... That would have put them in field goal range. So, you know, the stats were were decent. Nothing, like I said, nothing special. But it was just a good overall game for him. Um, and because of his legs, teams are starting to respect the back end of the run game a little more. Um, that's you know, like to talk about like the running game because of that. He's kept a few of these these past you know five five games. Teams are not crashing down on the backside, and it's allowing us to run the ball. So. Like I said, I mean, am I elated over this win? No, but it's, it was a good, solid win to me. Um, and then talking about the offensive line, man, Andrew Thomas and Matt Parrott. I mean, you got to feel really good about those guys. I know a lot of people have been talking about Sewell in the draft. If those guys can be solid, then it's like, well, you really can't draft Sewell. So that could be a good um, a good issue, you know. Um, I mean, t- Chase Young did nothing. He had one tackle. They credited him with one sack. It was literally on the ball that Jones fumbled, and he jumped on it, and Chase Young was the first guy to run over and touch him. So he didn't. He did nothing. Did nothing. And that's not even a knock on Chase Young. It's just like, hey, Andrew Thomas, Matt Parrott showed up, man. So that that is really encouraging. I mean, I know you guys, most of you guys probably came to this channel for the O-line breakdowns. I can't wait to do this week's. But man, like you got to feel good about Thomas, man. Building that confidence up. Two weeks in a row, he's put together full, complete games, man. I mean, that's and against good, good teams, you know, good pass rushing teams, top of the top of the league in sacks. So, um, I like what I see out of that. Shane Lemieux, um, he's good in the run game. Will Hernandez being back is good. Will Hernandez being back next week, which most likely will be, is good because Shane Lemieux has some issues in the past game. But we'll touch up more on that. Um, in the O-line report. Um, Austin Mack. I would pump the brakes. It was a good game. Very happy with it. Four catches for 72 yards. More yards than Golden Tate's had all year. Here's the take I will take I will. I, the thing I will take away. Shep should play in the slot. He re, like He's a slot receiver. Um, and honestly, if you're going to play Tate, play him on the outside. Because that's basically the way they use him um, in the slot. That's the way he's made plays. Is down the seams, vertically. Um, slants, like all stuff that you can do from the outside. He hasn't been that effective as a slot receiver. So if you're going to play Tate, play him on the outside and, you know, give Austin Mack his fair share too. So overall, I, I felt very comfortable with the offense. Um, you know, like they took shots when they needed to. You had the long, the 50 yard pass, the Mack, the touchdown, the Ingram. Um, and you know, like I said, Jones threw the ball away when he needed to. There's times where he, you know, he threw it out of the end zone, put the ball in the dirt when he needed to. Um, like that one sack where it was like, what the hell happened with the fake reverse? They covered up the screen. He didn't force it. He, he realized it and ran got it as much forward as he could, um, before being tackled. So, I mean, like I said, this, this isn't a prove the doubters, um, wrong game, but it was a good step after a low point versus Tampa. Um, what else do I have here? On the defensive side, playmakers making plays. I cannot wait to break down what uh, happened on that Logan Ryan interception. Patrick Graham, man, 
I know they came back and had some points, but you know, like one of those plays, one of those was Terry McLaurin making a, a crazy play. And Terry McLaurin, if he didn't play on Washington, people would talk about him a lot more. He's a beast. I feel like he's a he's a step above Slayton, and I don't think that's even a knock on Slayton. It's more just Terry McLaurin's a beast. So, I mean, Bradbury is targeted one time. Yeedem, you know, he's Isaac Yeedem. He's not good, you know, but I feel like they've done a halfway decent job of hiding him, um, or whoever has been cornerback too. So. I mean, he had the sack. That was all on Patrick Graham. I can't wait. To, I really can't wait to break down this game from Patrick Graham, man. And honestly, if you want to like, like, oh, well, this, this, this. What has been the biggest issue for this defense? Closing out halves. Well, what did we do? We had a Blake Martinez at the end of the first half. End of the, end of the game. Two interceptions for Peppers and Logan Ryan. So we closed them out. We closed, we closed the games out. And that's... That is progress. That's progress for a defense that we've been impressed with. So overall, um, feel good about this game. I wish they would have been a little more aggressive on a couple fourth downs. Like that one where we punted it for like 25 yards. That didn't make like, just go for it at that point. Um, and they ended up, that ended up being the Terry McLaurin score on the next drive. So if you go there for a change there, there's one other one where I was kind of iffy. But overall, I thought it was a good solid game. Like I don't... We're not going to blow teams out. We're not a good foot. Like, we were 1-7 in seven going to this game. So, this expectation that we're going to blow teams out. Let's change them. Change them. But anyways, um, we'll have all the film stuff out. I can't wait to do a lot of it. Appreciate you guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let's go Big Blue.